All righty, what's next now? Anyway, uh, on any valve job, I don't care if the valves are brand new or not. You should always really inspect them really well because you know, when they're machining these down wherever they're doing it, uh, they just throw them in a big vat of valves and they get dinged up, you know, even on the stems and on everything. But uh, if they get dinged up heavily on the sealing surface, then it's not going to seal. It's not going to seal properly. So always, you should always resurface brand new valves. You know, you know, just because it says brand new, it doesn't mean anything. You know, that you always put your own 45 on it and, uh, and also, well, on a, on our true performance valve job, we always put a 30 degree cut right up here, very ever so slightly to break this, break this sharp edge off. Okay. So anyway, so I'm ready to grind the valves, uh, put the fresh 45 on it. So, all right. All right. Now what are we about ready to do? We're going to put the, uh, a brand new fresh 45 on the valve face on the ceiling face of the valve make sure it's all the correct angle and there is no dings or scratches on it we're going to put a brand new angle so that the factory already did that's to me no good so you okay. take okay here we go Always keep moving the valve. Don't let it just sit there. Uh, sometimes you have to, but yet always try to keep, you know, keep an RPM on it. You know, to stay a little bit more on it. And then in the end, you can let it sit for a little bit and slowly back it off. All right. Anyway, just to show you uh, the the uh, angle that I just put on there, that's that's the brand new forty five degree angle. Um, anyway, the valves aren't washed yet, but yet it's very smooth, no chatter, no nothing. Yeah, that that will seal excellent. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this right here ever so slightly we're going to cut that ridge off of there and that'll be a 30 degree angle so uh for flow and for you know efficiency so just to uh, uh, eliminate any sharp edges or anything you know this pick is, off all the burrs and all that this is a performance valve job so that's what you're going to get you're going to get uh, you know 100 percent you know so just not the 45 you know and knock a little bit of edge off of there so take it a little bit farther all righty for the 30 degree cut. Fresh out of the, uh, you can see, that's what I just put on it. So it's nice and smooth right here. A little bit of a ridge on it right there. Not you don't want to go any more than that though. You can, but it's not you know. 
So anyway, so it makes wow. makes a big difference. So all righty, so that'll do it. All righty. Okay, basically, uh, without lapping them, um, and I do lap all my seats anymore. I used to not when I first started, long, you know, thirty plus years ago. Anyway, bring bring the put the valve in. Make sure the seat there is no fod on it or anything, no chips or anything. And very ever so slightly, slam the valve against the seat. Bring it out, and you can actually see it print on the actual face. Okay, see there's a little space in between, you know, the actual line, and then then the uh, the 45 on the uh, valve, and then the actual end of the, you know, the uh, tip of the valve, or what they call the margin. And uh, anyway, so that's where it's printing right now. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Actually, I mean, it's some of the racy, racy stuff. I like it. I like the 45 even more closer to the uh, to the margin. Uh, now, uh, watch when I actual when I lap it into the seat. So, hang on. Alrighty. compound do not get it on the stem you don't want that that's no good <laughs> okay you don't want to lap your brand new valve guides and your uh, stems all to pieces and put uh, 40,000 miles on them <laughs> from the get-go no <laughs> no you don't want that so anyway so ever so lightly put it into the guide push it there and Tool. Lapping tool, suction cup, you know, bigger on here, a little on there. All right. So, put it on there. You can feel the compound cutting ever so slightly. And then in the end, it'll start to uh, feel a little lighter. So pull it out. You can see, see the lapping mark? Oh yeah. I you see, see you got your shiny, then your gray, then your shiny. Yeah, that's where a 45 should be. You know, not not way up here. Uh, so, some people, you know, there's you know, there's all different way uh, people that say they want it their way, and that's fine. That uh, this is the way I do it. Uh, so a little more closer to the uh, margin. Uh, anyway, this this would actually be acceptable for any street car and even a race car. You know. Uh, but there's some uh, performance people that even want it even more intense, and that's when I would move the 45 even closer to the margin. So there would actually be no shiny there. It would actually print right next to the edge of the valve. Okay, so so you got your 30 degree cut, then you got your 45, then then of course you got your two lapped 45. And then you're you're 45 up here, so that's that's where it's going to stay. Now, um, now if you look at the seat, you can actually see the gray where it's actually printing. It's printing 360 degrees all the way around the seat. Uh, so, anyway, that's done. 
that's done except for I'm going to blend the chamber on the bottom part. Well, I said I'm going to blend that that uh, this tiny little lip. That'll be on another segment. So, all right, okay. okay, excellent. And we still got to grind the exhaust seats, but this this shows you, you know, so the intake right now. So, perfect. Okay. All right.